Hey guys, I'm actually videoing this from an iPad mini retina display and I just want to show you the clarity of it. In this video, I'm actually uh, upgraded it to the 8.0 software and I'm going to show you a video how some of that software works later, but for this video, I'm just going to show you how to get installed before the pre-release. Also, I updated the iTouch with that as well and I do have it plugged in for example something I want to show you so once you go ahead and uh, so I'm going to show you a little trick about what you can do with the new operating system so this is for demonstration purposes so by no means this is actually authenticated by Apple in any sense and I actually found the link on a German website so you can feel free to do that but again this is just because I want to see the new software and just take a look at it and see what it's all about so hey Siri What's my name? You're Steven, but you asked me to call you Tech Steve. So that's just one example that you can do with the new Hey Siri feature, and there's a lot more. So once you go and subscribe below, hit the thumbs up for the like button, and go ahead and get ready, and I'm gonna show you how to install this. Now I have my iPad here. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and hit on the settings, and under general, you can see it's on 7.1.2 software and what we're going to do is get this updated to 8.0 so what you're going to need to get it started would be the lightning connector USB cable and you're going to need a computer with iTunes installed on it so I'm going to briefly move over to the computer and I'll show you the next step to get started go ahead and open up your iTunes and then you want to actually take your iPad and go ahead and plug it in right here at the lightning port. Now if you notice on iTunes it found my iPad. Now it's going to synchronize and once it's synchronized that's the first part you get done there. And then you want to go ahead and click on the iPad right there. And it says check for updates. Now all you want to do from this point is hit uh, shift and then check updates and it'll allow you to actually find a file on your computer now I actually saved it to my desktop so what I'm going to do is go over here to uh, my desktop here and then I'm going to find the file that I downloaded now this will verify that you're updating your iPad now keep in mind if it doesn't say you're updating you're restoring it so it's going to delete everything off of it so just hit update now what it's doing is actually um, extracting the file so it actually can load it up onto the iPad. So I'm going to let it finish this process and I'll be right back.